Welcome back, Nauta fans. This is another game. It's going to be a game between... Oh, darn it. Gao and... Goda and Pao, because apparently Koyo was not responding, so he basically ended up forfeiting the first round, apparently. So he's in the loser's bracket against Daniil, whenever that comes up. But Goda versus Pao. So Goda, of course, best player in most spring-based games. Pao, I'm not sure. Apparently he is a pretty good Nauta player, so we'll see how that works out. Though... I don't know how confident he is. I mean, he knows who God is, and God knows who God is, so I imagine that both players are going to be fairly confident that God is going to be the favorite here. However, we'll see what happens. I might be a way that Pau finds to get around Goda. Whether or not he does remains to be seen, but for now, we are just waiting for the game to start. Because it takes a little while sometimes. Players need to pick their start locations and then work out. Oh yeah, we're gonna be on Valis Mountain Anners as well. Probably should mention. Last time, we're, last game was in a nuclear winter. This game is on Valis Mountain Anners, which is a similar kind of map. Might as well just go over while the players are choosing their locations. So north side of the map, very hilly. It's important to have good control over that. South side of the map as well, not quite as important or not quite as hard to take as nuclear winters. Not quite as hilly, but still pretty hilly, so it's important to bear that in mind. Anyway, both players have started. We do have... Pepe... Or, we do have Pau. Not Pepe Ampere. Same color, though. We have Pau in the northwest side of the map. God in the northeast side of the map in yellow. Pau in purple. It's actually kind of unusual since 0k has the team colors kind of enforced to teal and red. Which is actually kind of convenient to know who's player 1 and who's player 2. Not that it... Matters well. It matters more in this case because I need to know who's who for the economy stuff since I can't show both at once. Unfortunately, the Lex player list will not work. At least I haven't worked out how to make it work. Regardless, Goda is going for a bit of early power before going for metal. Not sure what difference it's going to make. Pow, on the other hand, going for pretty standard metal then energy. Really, I'm not sure it matters as long as they actually get what they need by the time the game starts up. And once the game starts up, then it'll be more important. But for now, I think it's just going to be your standard setup. And got it going for a bit more metal. Not surprising, he's actually spending quite a lot of metal, so you'd want to get more metal. Not getting a factor that early, though. And Pow, on the other hand, is also getting a lot of economy for a factor. Getting his factory after getting five, five solar plants and five metal extractors. Now, I'm not sure on this map how good wind is, because wind is very map dependent from the from what I've gathered. It's not so much elevation dependent as it is in 0k. It's more dependent on different maps at different wind speeds. And I don't know what how that works. And oh, let's turn off map marks. <sighs> Sorry about that. Anyway. That's something I have hotkeyed with 0k, but this isn't use a 0k hotkey, so I don't have that on hand. Remember to do that. Actually, I'm a bit surprised. How did that... Oh, that was, that was Pow doing that. That was Pow writing that he hates God. Or Gode. Because Gode is, like I said, the most... Well, is one of the strongest players. I think him and Pepe Ampere are kind of even in Nada. From what I understand, that's that's the game that people want to see, is Gode versus Pepe Ampere. That's the game that... Well, if Gode beats Pow, that will probably end up being ultimately the finals, depending on who... Well. Pepe Ampere probably will get through. So it'll probably be the winner's finals once that's set up, but we'll see. We'll see what Pow does, because Pow might have something. He is going for a no, very quick K-Bot lab. Getting Peewee's pretty standard early opening raid scout. He's actually not raiding and scouting that much. He does have a couple... Double-checking the south. Good choice. Very good choice. Make sure that Goda isn't taking the south quickly. Though both players are going north, and Goda does have his vehicle factory up at the top in the north. He has a K-Bot lab. Oh, no, he doesn't have a K-Bot lab. Just as the vehicle factory. And is mostly going for instigators, which point out that he is playing core and Pow is playing arm. So instigators are going to be probably the equivalent to flashes, I would imagine. And weasels the equivalent to jeffies, which are I don't can't really think of any equivalent in zero K, honestly. Vehicles just work differently. But anyway, the vehicles are coming through. This is what vehicles are for. Is you don't build a whole lot of them, but they last a very long time. 
Let's point out these guys aren't armored, by the way. They don't have any particular armor bonuses for position. Nor does the raider. Yeah, that's what it's called. Just called a raider. Well, that's confusing. Anyway, admittedly, there's no unit rolls in Nada. So it's not quite so confusing. Anyhow, we do have the Peewees moving back. There isn't much that Pow can do. His Peewees to the south haven't found anything. Got it has not expanded to the south yet. The one in the north will find Gotta's base and figure out what's going on. At least moderately well. It probably will die before anything happens. The core defense is a laser. So it doesn't have any time as a missile is flying in order to actually see what's going on. It'll just die. And I think, yep, yeah, it's about to come in range. So that Peewee is about to die. Or no, just barely avoids it. Just barely avoids it. Or actually just gets missed by it, actually. Oddly enough. Doesn't matter, though. What matters is that Gode is in a position to basically start containing Pow. This one, Pow doesn't seem to be too worried about that. He actually... Does he have any builders yet? I don't think so. I think he's entirely relying on his tower at this point. Oh no, he does have one builder. That builder is not actually building anything yet. Should probably go down south and start expanding there, because Gode isn't trying to put pressure on that. He is putting pressure on the north, so a builder will not be able to expand in the north. There's no way that's going to happen right now. But the south's not a problem, and radar has been built up, so Gode now... Er, there we go. Now he's aware of basically the entire middle of the map. He knows what's going on. All the yellow is where the radar is, by the way. Probably should have pointed that out sooner. So yellow is radar. On the other hand, Pow also aware of the center. He has his own radar right here. So he's fully aware of what's going on in the center. And a little bit of what's going on to the south, too, but not a whole lot. And both players are fairly even for economy, though. Pow is spending his metal a lot more than Gode is. And Gode does have... He has a KOI lab coming as well, so... He's... He's pretty healthy, I think. He's definitely confident, that's for sure. And he does have a couple construction vehicles just taking the north. He is... He wants to take the north, and he can. Admittedly, his raiders are getting pushed back a bit. Rocco's have been built up to deal with this. Yep, entirely Rocco's. That's all that is being built out of Pow's factory. Not a terribly bad idea for the vehicles, but the bots are going to counter that. I'm guessing that we're going to see some AKs and storms coming in here. Or... Sorry, AKs, right? There's no flea equivalent for core. AK is the Peewee equivalent. Yeah, there's AKs coming. Those will be able to deal with the Rockos without too much issue. Peewees are coming in to try to spot this out. I think... Let's double check. I'm pretty sure that Pow is aware of this. Yeah, I'm pretty sure he's aware of this. At least aware there's something on the hill. Not sure if he's aware of what it is, but he's probably aware that there is something there to check out. However, these Rockos not able to get into a great position. Wow. Nice job with these levelers. I think with levelers, they're great against bots. It's just, even the Rockos can't easily get in to deal with them. Zeus is probably be a better idea right now, but he's not going for that. And... Not sure he really has the money to push them out efficiently. He is, however, getting a vehicle plan. He is getting a bunch of stumpies of his own. Levelers won't be able to deal with that quite so effectively. However, is he... Okay, interesting. He's sending them to the south. I must try to capture that, make sure he knows what's going on. He does know that Gade is trying to at least get some control over the south, get some pressure on the south. And, yeah, really surprisingly, Pow has not built more metal extractors. Building a lot of wind generators, I don't know if he's going to try to start building metal makers, that would be bizarre. Metal extractors are more cost-effective than metal makers, and Reclaim is more cost-effective than that. Though, admittedly, Reclaim is kind of hard to get to right now. There's no easy battlefields that Pow has under his control. Gade, on the other hand, there isn't just a lot of metal that's been thrown in. Pow has not been doing a bad job of avoiding donating metal. He's definitely made sure to keep the battles on his territory so he can keep the metal as much as he likes. That being said, Goddess still does have a lot of vehicles coming in here. And he's going to be able to deal a lot of damage if he so chooses. He's just holding back for now. I think he's not quite confident he's going to be able to push in too hard. With Rockos, like, with this many Rockos, I'm not surprised. I can't really blame him. But it's still something that he doesn't have to worry about, honestly. He has so much pressure along the center of the map. His K-Bots are taking the south side. He's actually putting a bit of pressure, raiding a bit with the instigators along the south side of the map, trying to get rid of everything that has been started to be built up for Pow. And Pow did not build up to the south. He didn't have the, ener the economy to really deal with this. I mean, Gota has now basically... He's now expanding south. He's probably going to take this south section fairly soon. Looks like... No, just an AK. Not... Was not a builder, so it wasn't a Necro. 
This Necro, however, is getting the center. Like, Gullet is taking the center. He can hold this. He could easily hold this. with the level. Just the levelers alone, he could hold this. And he doesn't have levelers alone, so he's definitely going to be able to hold this. Rock was coming in. Not a bad line there, but looks like they are, even then, going to have a hard time dealing with this. Just see what their attack range. Not quite in range yet. And looks like the leveler is going to, or the raider here is going to get them first. But they are able to deal with this. They are able to push them back a bit. Just make sure that it isn't a free ride for Gota, because... Let's be honest, Gode is definitely the favorite here, and Pau knows it, and he wants to make sure that he's going to at least give him some trouble. I mean, if Pau wins, that would be a massive upset, but... I mean, good on him if he does, that's for sure. But still... Pau does not have the economy. That's the thing, is Pau needs to build up. Gode has... He has about 30 metal, Pau has 20. And both players are pretty good for energy right now. Actually, no... No, Pau needs energy. No, Gota needs energy. Pau is okay for energy right now. But still, metal is a bigger bottleneck for right, right now. And Pau just doesn't have enough economy to deal with this. And Pee Wee round this out, trying to raid out these AKs. Not doing a terrible job, but at the same time, doesn't really matter right now. Actually, it does. Never mind. He does have free ride. He. Oh, he should get this metal extract. He's he doesn't know what this apparently because these metal extractors are totally defenseless. But that would be the ones to go for. God doesn't have that under his control. But no, he's not going for that. Why he's not going for that is beyond me. But what I well, what I see likely is that well, this Pee Wee's probably can actually do much damage ultimately. As you can see, yeah, it doesn't do any damage at all because that's not a very tough unit. However, going through the center, it looks like Pau is going to get flanked out. Gullet is coming in from the north to try to flank him out. Putting pressure in the north, however... Putting pressure in the north by Pau. Gullet is somewhat moving back. He's losing a lot of the melee charges he had there in the north. Not that it matters, though. Gullet nearly has double the economy, and he's pushing back the center as well. At this point, Pau... Trying to do what he can while retreating, but even then, it's just not enough. These raiders, which are effectively like ravagers for 0k players... They are just... They are doing a really good job. They're just doing a number on everything here. Stumpy trying to do what they can, but... Actually, in this case, I think they'll be fine. The raiders coming in from the bottom here, from the south, those are going to be a problem. The Stumpies are getting flanked out. They're doing a good job with these two raiders, but the rest of them coming in are going to be a problem. Like I said, it just comes down to economy at this point. It just isn't enough for Pow. He doesn't have enough metal extractors. He doesn't have... Any reclaim that he's going for, he's... Actually, he does have a bit of reclaim field up here. I'm a bit surprised he isn't going there. And Airplane Factory has been built up for Gode. He's probably going to go, and it looks like Pau is just going to... He's going to surrender as soon as air is built from the looks of it. Give him the chat. Nope, never mind. Pau is throwing the towel. Figures he can't win, and... There we go. That's game. Well... He's self-destructing. So there we go. That's game. So I hope you enjoyed that. Admittedly a bit one-sided match, but that is going to be game. So thank you for watching. Or no, I wasn't saying that. It's not done yet. We aren't over yet. Keep watching. Keep watching. Because we're going to have more games as soon as the next game start up. I apologize, I am a little bit tired right now. So, it'll be Gode versus probably Pepe Ampere, whoever wins between... I mean, Mac and Yoshi, Yoshi I think, are still playing, so I'm not sure who's going to win between those two. I really am not. They're actually pretty even in skill, but one of them's going to win. Oh, I don't have the armor widget on? I don't have the armor widget on. But I did have the armor widget on. Apparently, people in chat are saying that I don't... Oh, I don't have armor display on. What the heck? How did that get turned off? Oh, that's much better. Okay, I don't know why. I thought my armor display was on for some reason. Sorry about that. Anyway. <laughs> that I thought I had that on. I apologize. People in chat who are complaining about not showing vehicle armor. Yeah, I thought I was. Let's just get this. There we go. Gode is into the winner's finals. Pau is into the loser's semifinals. And point out that... Okay, Koyo is out of the tournament, apparently. Daniil into the losers, well, first semifinals. Never really sure what to call for the losers bracket. It's not really straightforward, unfortunately. 
Anyway, DOS Box and Takeshi Box are still on. Draven and Player 01. I think Draven's probably going to win that. Probably be Draven versus Pow in the loser's bracket, but Pepe Ampere, he's going to be fighting against... Okay, I don't know who's winning between Mac and Yoshi. The... Oh, I guess... Oh, it looks like Takeshi Box and DOS Box is either done or not started yet. But Yoshi and Mac has been going on for almost 17 minutes now. So when that's back, we'll be back, but for now, just stay tuned because I don't know when people are going to be back.